What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview. And we have a WTA event on this week in Adelaide, which kind of feels weird because the Australian Open finished yesterday and we're still in Australia doing tournaments. But there's a lot of good players playing in this event, but a lot of good players have also pulled out. So these are the players that have pulled out of the tournament. We have Alexandrova, Andrescu, Azarenka, Buzkova, Brady, Kontovic, Peterson, Risk, Rybakina, Sakari, Vekic, Vondrasova, and Yastremska has also pulled out. All right, so starting at the top of the draw here, we have eight seeds in this draw, with the top four seeds getting a buy in the first round. Ash Barty, the number one seed, the world number one. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll play the winner of Zhang versus Collins in the second round. So that's not an easy match there for Ash, who's the defending champion at this event. Then we have Stoza versus a qualifier. The winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or a number five seed, Sviontek. So straight away, you can see there, we might get a Sviontek versus Barty match. Battle of the French Open winners from the last two years in the quarterfinals. And that'd be a great match to watch. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to watch that match. Then we have the number four seed, Mertens, getting a bye in the first round. She'll play the winner of Seva Stover versus Garcia. And again, that is a tough match for Mertens in the second round. Then we have Teichman versus Mladenovic. The winner of that is going to play the wild card Gadecki or the number eight seed Wong in the second round. So this part of the draw is pretty stacked. We have Mertens, who's in great form after winning the doubles in the Australian Open. Obviously, Ash Barty, the world number one, and Sviontek, the French Open champion of last year. Some big, big names in this part of the draw. Bottom half of the draw now, we have the sixth seed, Martic, versus a qualifier in the first round. She's got a great draw because no matter what happens, she's going to play a qualifier in the second round if she does win her first round because we have two qualifiers playing each other. Then we have Rogers versus Kudamatova. The winner of that's going to play number three seed, Conta, who hasn't had the greatest start to the year. She's been a little bit slow. Some injury concerns in the Australian Open, so she's looking to get into some form. Then we have the number seven seed, Putin Seba versus Sigmund. The winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or Tom Janovic in the second round. Then we have Blinkova versus a qualifier. And the winner of that's going to play number two seed, Bencic, in the second round, who's, like Conta, hasn't had a great start to the year. Didn't play great in Australia and is looking to get into some much-needed form going to March and some of the bigger tournaments for the WTA. So there it is, a short draw, but a very packed draw. We have some Grand Slam champions. The top half of the draw of this tournament is insane. I mean, Sviantec, Barty, Mertens in form. It's going to be great to watch. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? All right, going to the predictions now, and i got to tell you, this is a tough one. It's a very tough one. Top part of the draw is very stacked. Bottom part's pretty empty, but I think Barty's proven that in Australia, she is very effective. So I'm going to go with Ash. I know she's the number one seed. It's kind of an obvious pick, but I'm going to go with Barty because she plays well in Australia, and she's been doing well lately. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this event? So the Adelaide International, we continue on in Australia, even after the Australian Open.